Hey everyone, it's Deligracy here and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 4 Hampton Falls Part 21. I hope you guys are having a really good week and I'm excited to record this part of Let's Play because we're going to be aging up the kids in the Ortega household. We're going to have like a little party, a little do. We're also going to be moving the Ortegas into a new house. So I'm going to do all of that with you. It's kind of like an organizational episode. We want to organize the LP a little bit. Might be a little bit different to the other parts, but I'm excited to move the town around a bit and to age up the kids. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also do let me know in the comments down below who your favorite character is because I've been noting so noticing some of you guys have been saying what characters are your favorite and it's really, really interesting. Right now, my favorites are prob probably Crystal because she's my all-time fave in this series for some reason. And uh, who else? I think Ajax. Yeah, he's sweet. I like him. Anyway, you guys, let's jump into it. All right, so we are back at the Ortega Spanish home and I love this home. It's going to be really sad for them to leave here. But basically why I want them to leave this house is number one, because now that they have Lauren and her brother living with them, there's not enough room for everyone. Like they're all sharing bedrooms and you know, I don't want Lauren to have to share a bedroom with her brother when he's a teenager, when they also have to share a room with um, Astrid's little sister too. It's just like too many people in one room, I think. So, um, we need to move for that reason. And the other reason is Nicole and Philippe have kind of been living this, well, really shallow lifestyle where they pretend to have a whole heap of money, like a lot of people in Hampton Falls, and they really don't. And I feel like since the whole thing with Lauren and her brother happening, I feel like they've kind of realized, you know what? Maybe life isn't all about money and showing off and flexing, you know, maybe there's a lot more to life and I feel like Philippe has kind of decided we might not have as much money as other families, but at least we have a heart and we've taken in some kids into a home that need it. I mean, who cares if we're going to move out into a small house that isn't as beautiful or isn't as showy, With at least we're helping some kids have a better nice. life. So. He's that turning into a pretty good sim. Uh, I mean, his character's grown definitely. And he and his wife, I think, Brendan are kind Collier. of realizing, you know what, this this isn't all about money. Life is about a lot more, which is a lesson that a lot of people never learn and a lot of people really take a very long time to learn. So maybe he'll go over to Nicole and caress her cheek and give her a little bit of a kiss. Um, and maybe they can, ooh, take a picture, their last picture in their family home. Where is it? Oh, I don't know where it's gone, but we can do a little bit of a hug lovingly. Also, I did not put her in that outfit. I don't know what she's wearing, but oh well, she, she does what she wants to do. So he's like, thank you so much for being the most supportive wife ever and being happy to move. It's like, honey, I'm just as in love with you as the first day I laid my crazy eyes on Shuffle you. Poor man. <laughs> Probably thinking, you know, Astrid's going to have a really tough time with this. She's not used to having to watch money. Yeah, like she's probably Stroom. not going to like us Stroom. for a little while. Stroom. She's a strong girl. Gaisha, Gaisha. She, she'll Gaisha. learn. She'll Gaisha. be alright. She's having a bit of a giggle about it, but I think Astrid will be really annoyed deep down because she'll kind of blame Lauren for it. I've also collected some of their furniture and already put it into their inventory because um, this this like sunroom area where they always sit and watch the TV, I felt like we should take some furniture from there as well as like some pots from the front of the house, uh, a few decor objects in here. I just felt like we should have we should take those with us to the new house to make it feel a little bit more like home. And this house is actually worth a lot of money. This house is worth 217,000 simoleons. So it's not like they're gonna be struggling when they move. They're still gonna have a really nice home. <laughs> it just won't be as fancy as this one. And I also sold some of the objects in their inventory. So they went from like $3,000 to $16,000. You know what? They're getting their life back in order. They're not going to be in as much debt when they move, which is a good thing. Let's do it. Let us move. I'm gonna get Mr. Ortega to move the household. He's just getting all the moving in order. They're probably having to sell all of their furniture as well to pay off some debt too. I don't know, they're not gonna have all of their old fancy schmancy furniture. They're kind of doing big house on a smaller budget, but it's still gonna be a really nice house. Now, obviously because Hampton Falls, AKA Brindleton Bay is not, like it doesn't have heaps and heaps of lots. Um, we could have, 
either like bulldoze their current house and just put a new house there and pretended like, yes, they've moved house. But I decided that we'd move them over to here, which is where Morgan and her family, like Lauren's old house was. So even though they're technically moving back to their old lots, we're just going to say it's a totally new house um, because I don't really want to make them move worlds because then they're not in the Hampton Falls anymore. Uh, keep furniture or sell furniture? Well, we want to sell furniture. Now, obviously there is no house here. Oh my gosh, they're all home from school. I cannot wait to age up Mia and little Levi. I always forget Levi's name. Oh my gosh, Mr. Ortega's looking fit. He's like turned into goals, you know? He's kind of, oh my God, am I allowed to call him a daddy? Oh my gosh, and look who it is. Is this Bartleby? <gasps> Bartleby, he is so creepy looking. This is Constance's dad and also Astrid's boyfriend's dad because Astrid is now seeing her boyfriend, Clovis. So that's Clovis's dad. Okay, so I've also gone ahead and I downloaded two houses off the gallery that were created by you guys um, that were going to fit perfectly on this lot. So one of them that I found was called the Belford, which I thought was such a sweet looking house. It definitely looks a bit more humble than their other place. Uh, so this is my bellboy. It's got four bedrooms, four bathrooms, and it is a family home and... It's 141,000, so we have that. It looks like there's a pool out the back, which is pretty cool. So they're not gonna be roughing it, uh, but it just looks like a much, you know, smaller, or maybe not smaller, but just not as fancy home. And then the other one I really loved was this, the Funky Shell Cow, Chow? <laughs> I don't know if that's like a reference to something existing or not, but it's by Fishy Simmer. And hey everyone, this is the shell I was working on before seasons rolled around and finally finished it. Enjoy. And I thought this was really cute as well. This actually has five bedrooms. So it means everyone would get a bedroom, which I like. Uh, so maybe, I mean, maybe we should check it out. It doesn't have a pool though. And it's 130,000. So let's see it. Oh no, you guys, it doesn't fit properly on the lot. I mean, I guess we could turn it the other way. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is such a beautiful build. I love this house. I mean, let's just take a little look at it for starters. Um, we might have to put the other one in there. <gasps> this is so pretty. I love, oh, I love the kitchen. You guys, I really want to move into this house. Wow, that is a big dining room. There is like a faux garage as well there, a little office. If we go upstairs, what's upstairs? Okay, we've got a whole heap of bedrooms up here. Okay, let's check out the other one. Okay guys, so this is the other build and I have rotated it onto this dirt path. So both of them didn't fit um, this way, but this is a beautiful home. I mean, look at the back of it. That is so nice. And it's got that like little irregular shaped pool. Um, let's just check out the inside. Ooh. Very nice. Okay, so you've got like the dining room, you've got like a little bar area in there, a nice quaint little kitchen. This definitely looks a little bit more homely compared to the last one. Oh, I kind of like this color scheme that it's a bit different. There's an office for Mr. Ortega to take his clients into if he needs to. And then up here we have a master bedroom with an ensuite. We might have Astrid's room over here. We could have a shared bedroom for Lauren and her little brother. And then this could be Mia's room over here. Oh, and look at that, that's cute. You guys, I think I might go for this house because it's a little bit more quaint looking. Um, yeah, I think we'll do this. All right, so I've gone ahead and put a few things in. So I've got these pots from their old house at the front of the house and also these planters over here. Um, I put a couple of things that are familiar to them, like these um, statue decor things in each of the corners. By the way, I love this tree so much from Jungle Adventures. They're super cute. Oh, what else did I do? Outside under this like little cabana area, I put their favorite outdoor seating here with their little proofs or whatever you want to call them, proofs, proofs, and their candelabra that they love. I did straighten out the pool as well, just because I prefer the straighter edges. That's just like a personal 
thing. Um, and then I did bring over Astrid's bed. So at least she has the same bed, painted her room pink, some similar furniture to her last room. Actually, those are her bedside tables from her last room. And then I made this spare room over here for Lauren and Levi to stay in and share. I kind of wanted them to have their own rooms, but I feel like them sharing is still okay because it's quite a big room. And then over here, this is going to be Mia's room. And I just kind of made it look a lot like Astrid's because I feel like she'd want to follow in her sister's footsteps. And then we also have the Ortega's um, master bedroom here that was created by the original builder. So now this is everyone home at their new house and Astrid is already looking a little bit tense. She's probably not really happy about this. She's like, oh my God. This is my new house. Are you serious? <laughs> it's really sad that their old house is like across the road. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, if I lived in this house, it would be amazing. I love it. And Lauren's probably so grateful. This is probably more Lauren's style of house too. Like it's a lot more homely, I think, in, in some ways. Um, oh, and she goes straight to the computer. Maybe she's like, I should find a job so I should contribute to... The household costs. I think that's a good idea. I mean, they have 90,000 simoleons in the bank now, so it's not like they're struggling. Um, but I feel like she would still want to contribute. And, you know, she wants to look after her little brother. She wants to be more independent. So I think it makes sense. And a lot of you guys were saying that could be cool. So let's get her to find like a part-time job. I think that's definitely why she's gone straight to the computer. Oh my gosh, I've never thought about putting the TV to the side here. That is kind of cool. And Astrid is probably like, oh my gosh, Mia, are you excited for your birthday? Uh, what can Lauren do? I mean, she was really good with babies, but I feel like it's pretty traumatizing her doing babysitting when the three triplets that are her half siblings got taken away. Like, I feel like that would kind of be sad for her. Brist is kind of cool. Um, that's a good job. Fast food employee. Then your labor, retail employer. I'm just thinking, do these lift any skills? Probably not. Or scout. I don't think. What? How much? Which one gets paid the most? Manual laborer gets paid 45 simoleons an hour. Hmm. 16 for fast food. 28 for barista. 30. Ooh, let's maybe. What does a manual laborer do? You're young and healthy, so get paid by people who aren't. <laughs> From mowing lawns to operating big machines, your muscle is where the money is. I feel like she'd be more of a barista. Let's do that. So she works Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but she has weekends off. Um, wait, is the red when they work or the red when they have it off? Cause like babysitting, you only do twice a week, but you get paid more. I think this, you work more days. I think she's okay to hustle. <laughs> Yay, so she's got a job, but that's good. Um, let's get Astrid to do a little inside joke with her sister, get excited for her to age up. Umbar. And over here it says she's feeling insecure from her jealous trait. That fits perfectly with our storyline. I love that. She's probably feeling very insecure in this house. But at the same time, she's got a new boyfriend. And I feel like that would at least cheer her up a little bit. So um, she's just she's definitely going to invite him over tonight. And Mr. Ortega is probably feeling pretty good. He's like, you know what? I feel good about this. He's looking healthier. He's looking fitter. He's enjoying his microwave meal. I love it. I love it. Now we do have to claim all the beds for the Sims too. So let's go upstairs and do that. Uh, we'll get Nicole to oh, try for a baby. I don't think so. I think that baby making days uh, probably over. And we'll get Philippe to claim that bed. He should go to work as well. Um, can he go to work? What is his job? Oh, I forgot when we started this LP, we made him a Hall of Famous sports star. Well, maybe he's helping out a little bit with the law department of some sporting team. We'll go with that storyline. So he's, he's got a job now. He's off to work. Astrid's going to claim this bed. Lauren can claim that bed. We'll get Levi to claim this bed. And then Mia gets... Bad. There we go. Lauren's gonna go over to Astrid and be the bigger person. Astrid is standing with her back to Lauren. She's like, um, hi Lauren. Oh, this is awkward. Lauren's like, I hope you like your new room. It looks amazing. I love what your parents did with the new wallpaper. She's like, thanks Lauren. It's a shame you have to share your room with Levi, but you living here is only temporary. You do know that, right? Yeah, I mean, I guess I didn't really think about it, but... 
I can save up money and Pocana. her plate will be able to find her in place once school is out. Yeah, have fun working at that dirty coffee shop. All right, I'm going to get Nicole to maybe make a chocolate cake for the birthday. All right, I'm also going to be starting the birthday party. So let's go to birthday party. Let's not make it a gold event. The birthday sim is going to be Levi and Mia Ortega. They're going to have a joint birthday and obviously the family's gonna come. Um, Clovis is going to come. What? We can only invite these guys? Okay, we'll just have to invite others individually and Akira randomly, okay. Um, I guess Astrid, who's throwing the party, doesn't know as many people. The caterer, Bianca. Can you imagine the caterer being Bianca? Oh my gosh. We'll just get someone else for that role. Um, we'll hire a mixologist as well, seeing as though we have some extra moolah in the cooler. And then our house is just going to be here at home. So the Ortega residence. Oh, <laughs> it hasn't saved uh, with having a house on it yet. So yeah. He can miss work as well. Probably not that smart to... Oh my gosh, Lauren! She looks so pretty. Um, okay, well, let's definitely get her to go to the toilet. She's... Oh my gosh, look at Astrid as well. Astrid's looking great. Um, I'm going to get Lauren also to invite Ajax over. And let's crank the music up. Let's set it to high. Oh my gosh, the cake's here. And it is a poor cake that she's made. That is pretty sad. Oh, well, um, but let's turn the music up. Oh, look at this outfit. This is kind of interesting from Nicole. I definitely didn't select that. And who's working the bar over here? Nadia. I would like us to have some drinks out, please. Um, so let's order some drinks. Order, we'll get Astrid to order her favorite drink. I feel like she would do that. Woo! Oh my gosh, Mr. Ortega is like loving life now. He looks so suave. Is it just me or are you guys crushing on him a little bit? I know that's kind of gross. Oh, and look, Akira and Lauren are getting along. Oh, people are being nice to her again. He is so cute. Oh, why are they saying like to tease and stuff? Um, let's just maybe joke around a little bit. Oh my gosh, and look who it is, you guys. Oh my gosh, cult hot throb. Love him. He's here as well. Who else have we got hanging out? Oh, and this is her boyfriend. Oh my gosh, look at him. Okay, let's maybe get Astrid to go over here. Oh my gosh, she looks so sassy with her wine. Oh, she's like, hey, babe. I'm so glad you came. My gosh, she looks so angry right now. She's so sassy. She's like, I hate this house. It's so ugly. I don't even know why my parents moved here. Oh, and now she's kissing him. Hot stuff, teen lovers, how oh, sweet. It's like, uh, if it wasn't for you, I would be so lost. Oh, and look who's just walked in. Who is this? It's Ajax. Oh my gosh, I thought it was his dad. Oh my gosh, Lauren, you have to go over to Ajax here. <gasps> Maybe um, obsessed about favorite social media. Nah, I don't feel like that's very Lauren. Maybe ask about day. These guys have been a little bit romantic, but they're not boyfriend or girlfriend or anything like that. A lot of us have been shipping for them to get together, but they haven't got together yet. And I really, really want them to. Oh my gosh, look at Destiny in the background. She looks so fabulous. Uh, maybe a bold pickup line. Oh gosh, maybe just a little flirtation would be good. Uh, where is she? Is Lauren in the room? Oh, there she is. This, she's awkwardly like sitting away from him. <laughs> Lauren's so shy. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, did you like that, Ajax? Oh my gosh, he did. Can these guys go somewhere like a little bit more private? Like, could we go upstairs or something? Let's maybe go. Oh, someone's in there. Oh my gosh, Nicole's in there. Oh, wait, they're not in a group anymore? Ajax, why is Bianca talking to Clovis? She, I swear to God, if she tries to flirt with him. Destiny's always got her eye on things. She's like, hmm, that Bianca is bad news. Oh, look at these guys. They're feeling flirty. This is cute. Ajax is talking about food. He's talking about grilled cheese. Um, should we maybe... I mean, it's not like they don't already have each other's numbers. Maybe we can compliment his appearance a little bit. Oh my gosh, his dad's right there as well. Probably wondering what's going on. Oh my gosh, look how he's looking at Lauren. He's like, you're so beautiful. She should compliment his appearance. Oh, he's having a little dance. He's trying to awkwardly dance with her, but he's totally running into Akira. She's like, I love your jacket. It's so green. 
Okay, you guys, I think we should get little Levi and Mia to hug, and then I think that we should, like, get them to talk about toys a little bit, enjoy their birthday a little bit, and then I think that it's time for them to age up, which is really exciting. Oh my gosh, they can congratulate each other. Oh, he's gonna age up, you guys. Oh. I mean, I have no idea what kind of kids these guys are gonna be. Like, maybe they're gonna be evil. Maybe they're gonna be nice. Okay, Nicole, let's get this cake out. Let her go over here. And then as soon as that cake's out, I wanna put the birthday candles on there. Nobody take a piece. Okay, and let's maybe age up Mia first so she can go out here. All right, Mia. Oh my gosh, yay. She's aged up and she's gloomy, okay. I didn't realize she was gloomy. That is interesting. Well, what would go with gloomy? Maybe she can be, I mean, bookworm goes with gloomy, maybe a bit geeky. I mean, you could be an art lover. Athletic can be gloomy as well. It's kind of hard to know. I feel like she won't be a snob like her sister. I feel like she's a little nicer than that. Let's make her a gloomy bookworm. I like that idea. And she aspires to one day be a renaissance sim and be many be good at many different things. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh no, B. Okay, for starters, this outfit isn't terrible. Let's see the shoes. Okay, it's not terrible, but we're definitely going to have to do a bit of a makeover. And I think she's really beautiful, you guys. I mean, she looks all in proportion. She's not like one of those sims that age up that just look really weird and like unrealistic. She totally looks beautiful. I love her. And you guys always mention how big all of my Sims mouths are. <laughs> I know, my Sims have big mouths. I guess because I have a big mouth, uh, my Sims have big mouths too. Okay, let's maybe um, add birthday candles to here. Or we'll get Nicole to add the birthday candles before anyone else grabs some. Oh, it looks like everyone's everyone's leaving. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see what Levi looks at, looks like. Hey Levi, oh he's so cute. Oh my gosh, what is he gonna look like? Okay, he's aged up to be a bit of a goofball, so maybe he's a little bit of a jerk star. Maybe that can be his ambition. What, where was that? Over here, jerk star. So maybe he wants to be like a comedian. Um, so it could be a jerk star, which means he could be cheerful, or maybe he could be a little bit of a, an outgoing sim, I think. An outgoing sim would suit him. Oh my gosh, he's so big now. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is Lauren's brother. Okay, his hairdo I'm really not about right now, but this guy is hot. Who would have known Levi was hot? Oh my God, that's awkward. All the triplets are sending gifts. Oh my gosh. Wow, he's so attractive. Okay, and they're going straight to bed. Like Lauren's already in bed. I didn't even get a chance to interact with the Sims, but wow, that's so weird. He's like a model, you guys. He's like perfect looking, that's crazy. And Mia's beautiful looking as well. I love how, like they're such pretty Sims. My gosh, I'm used to Sims coming out looking so weird. Oh my gosh, even his like little picture here looks, he looks like an absolute snack. That is crazy. Okay, and Nicole's like, I'm taking my Todd sim butt up home to bed. And I actually have to say, I feel like this center piece is really pretty and very Ortegas. Anyway, you guys, I'm gonna finish this part right here. I know there wasn't any like particular tea or machinima, but sometimes we've just gotta, you know, organize the LP, age up sims you know, that kind of thing. And uh, I'll also off camera age up the other kid in that let's play. Who's the other kid in the let's play? Oh, the Mikitani's little girl. I'll age her up well as well and give them makeovers. So in the next part, we can see what she looks like. Let me know in the comments down below what kind of personalities you think Levi, Mia, and the little Mikitani will have. I've forgotten her first name. Let me know what you think their personalities will be like. What do you think their dramas will be, if they have any. I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say and hear what your imaginations come up with. Anyway, as always, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world, and I'll speak to you soon. Soo -soo.